Hey guys, so I know what kinds of things you want to see. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. All right, everyone, I'm going to start what I hope is going to be a regular feature on my channel, and that's a mystery unboxing. Now, if you want to, you can take a look down below in the description, and I've actually put in what I am going to be unboxing, so you don't have to wait if you don't want to. But either way, today I'm going to be unboxing a mystery Erie Railroad steam engine, and I hope you like it. Now, basically, I run whatever I like. My father was a Pennsylvania Railroad guy, and that constituted 90% of his consists, but frankly, I'm just an overgrown raccoon, and I like running what I like to look at. So I sure like the look at this steam engine, and it really caught my attention. But what was I going to run? Well, that was kind of a dilemma. So once I identified the steam engine that I wanted to run, I had to figure out what kind of consist to run, and what I eventually settled on were these IHC Erie Railroad heavyweights. Now, one thing about them is I'm a little bit tired because I have so many IHC, River Rossi, and AHM consists that, frankly, I don't want to pick up another one. However, there really weren't any companies that were making Erie Railroad heavyweights except for Blueprint, and it's really hard to get a hold of those, and I didn't really want to take the time to build them. Maybe someday I'll do that, but right now that just isn't in the cards for me. So I picked these up because I thought they would run well with the locomotive. And of course, one of the benefits by picking up IHCs is that they're relatively inexpensive, although these seem to actually be in pretty great demand, so I was surprised that I picked them up so cheaply. Actually, they seem to be new old stock, so I was really happy about that. In fact, the grab irons aren't even installed, which I'm not super happy about, but oh well, I guess I have to suffer one way or another. Now, the locomotive I purchased is designed to handle coal loads. It's specifically designed to handle coal trains because the Erie Railroad possessed a lot of really tall graded sections of track because they covered the area between the mountains in New York and Pennsylvania and Ohio. So they had this locomotive, in fact, three of them specifically built. So again, I made one of these decisions. Do I want to run what the locomotive actually ran in real life or am I happy just to go ahead and run what I like? Once again, the raccoon isn't very discriminating. I don't quite eat out of trash cans, but if I knew there was cool stuff in there that was relatively sanitary, I might do that. But either way, let's go ahead and take a look at this locomotive. Finding one of these was an ordeal, but getting one that worked was also a bit of an ordeal. This is actually the second one I received. The first one I purchased was actually defective. It actually ground its gears within about three minutes of running on the track and it never came back. The front set locked up and then the back set locked up and that was all there was to it. And I sent it back to the person I purchased it from who sent me this one. This one actually appeared to be either new or almost new. In fact, I think it was new for what it's worth. Now, the gentleman who sold this to me, in fact, got the one I sent him back and he thought I had broken it because he thought that the gangway between the cab and the tender had been broken by me. But in fact, it was actually stuffed in the box and I never even saw it. In fact, I never even knew what it was because I never went through the accessories of that particular model. So keep that in mind as I'm unwrapping this one for you here. Now, I'm not sure when they actually came out with this model, but I sure know they're not making any more since Matt's train house is gonna shut down. I'm not sure if the new owners are gonna take it up, but here it is. Here is the Erie Triplex, the Shea version, 50115. I think it's also called Russian Iron, and I really liked it, and there it goes. The gangplank is actually broken off of this one too, so it's really bizarre that it would happen on two different models, but it seems to be a really weakly made piece. I'm gonna have to repair it and put in some sort of sleeve myself. But no matter what, look at how cool this thing is. Three driving sets, two 882. I can't believe it. It's just an incredible piece of machinery and just a really cool looking model. There's no doubt about that. I mean, I kind of fell in love with this the first time I saw it. Heck, for the longest time, I didn't even know there was a steam engine like this. So the fact that they made an HO scale model of it was just really awesome. And I'm just happy to own one. And, uh, you know, stay tuned. I'll go into a more detailed review of this sometime really soon in the near future. So thanks for tuning in. I really appreciate it. And you know, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and leave some comments to let me know what kinds of things you want to see or if you want to see something specific about this locomotive before I finalize my review. It's a good time to let me know. Take care and stay safe.